What up though? It's your boy Philip J. Recently, a lot of people started working from home because of what's going on. And one of the best ways you can increase your productivity is adding a second screen to your laptop. If you have a laptop, the screens are smaller. Like the one I have right in front of me is 14 inches. If you have a 15.5, which is very common, or 12 inch, it's just not gonna cut it. One of the best things you can do is add a second monitor to your workstation. What you'll need is a laptop, a display cable. For me, it's HDMI and a monitor, like that. Now first, let's go over the type of cable you need. Pull up your laptop and check the size of it to see the type of ports it has. So on mine, I have an HDMI cable and a USB port on one side. On the other side, it looks like I have an SD card slot and another a USB cable. What I can use to display video on my laptop is the HDMI cable type of cables you can use to display video include DisplayPort, HDMI, DVI, and so forth. Now, some of those like DVI are kind of older technology, but the most commonly used is HDMI. You also have to check out your monitor to see the type board it has. Right here, I have a LG 26 inch monitor for gaming. And first thing, connect one side of the cable to your laptop. Then connect the other side to your monitor. With the cable connected to the laptop and the monitor, what you wanna do is turn on the monitor. And then you wanna go into monitor settings and check out which port you plug the cable into. So right here, I have an input setting. So I have different options, HDMI one, HDMI 2 and DP for display port. Let me go to HDMI 1. All right, there it is. Now you see the screen, same screen that you saw on my laptop, on the monitor as well. You wanna go on your laptop, right click on your desktop, go to display settings, uh, second one from the bottom. And right here is gonna show you your setup. What you want to click first is identify to see which window is what. So my laptop is number one and my monitor is number two. And you can also see it here. So the resolution of my laptop, which is one, is a lot smaller than my uh, monitor. So you actually notice the difference here. It shows you, which is kind of a nice feature to have. And then when you go down, so you have the display resolution, which is my laptop, 920. And then here you have multiple displays. So these are the different options. You can duplicate these displays, extend the, these displays, show only one, show only on two. So show only on one means to show only on the laptop, keep these changes, and you no longer have it on the other second screen. Show on two means you'll have it on the monitor, but not on the laptop. So let's duplicate the displays. Let me show you how that will look. So we duplicate displays, whatever you do on one screen will be shown on the other screen. So if you exit out, I'll exit out of the other one too. And lastly, the most important one, extend these displays. All right, so right here, you, you can work on this laptop, drag the mouse and it shows up over here, right there. Now, one thing to keep in mind is which one is your main screen. So when you go down, you can see make this display my main. So, cause you can't click it. That means this display, my number one is the main display. And number two, when you click on number two, you can hit here to make it, make that one the main display if you would like. And when you make it a main display, that means all your applications that you normally see on your desktop will show up. Since this is my main display, all my applications are here and this one is free and has nothing. Another quick thing to add is your setup here. The second screen is my monitor, and when I try to go left, I can't actually access it. I have to go to the right side for the mouse to show up here, and that's something I don't want. So the way to change that is to move these on the side. Since my, my laptop, which is number one, 
is on the right side and my monitor is on the left side, what you want to do is you want to flip these numbers around just like that and then you hit apply all right so it's still one and two you didn't change the numbers but right now you can actually see when i scroll with the mouse it shows up right here so that's it guys so if you guys have any questions let me know otherwise like and subscribe